I'm from Washington, D.C. I was born southeast, but my son took me to West Virginia because I have my hip replaced, and uh, he want to take care of mom, you know, and I have a chip bone in my shoulder. So I'm trying to get my disability in effect, and it's been since 2004. Before you ended at the shelter, what were you up to? Uh, just uh, out in West Virginia. Uh, actually, I was sleeping on the streets, you know, trying to find a shelter that had a space, and it, you know, wasn't possible at the time. But then the good Lord got me here, and I know it was God that, you know, got me to come yeah. this way. Oh my goodness, everybody's been in a good mood, a good mood. Uh, I just think today is different, and. And it's going to be better for America. He is, and his family. They stand out in the pictures in the fortress, and and it looks just so, you know, here, you know, for us, the people, you know, for a change, our change. We need him. So if you, you were, if, if if President Obama were to be looking at this, what would you say to him? I'd say to Obama, Mr. President, <laughs> that. This has been long overdue, and we need you. We need you. Homelessness, um, foreclosing on houses, and people losing their homes, and it's making a difference with him because he's he gets on the uh, newspaper street sense, and he says, uh, beside a white individual, you know, half his face and half a, a white person, and he says, brother, can you spare some change? And that changed me, and that's going to change everybody, and I think that he is for all, for all. What more can be done to help people like you and the people in some of the situations? I don't know. I'm just waiting to see what Obama's going to do with it now, you know, and see, to see if it's going to be fast. I feel a difference already. I mean, everybody's coming together, and I've been even going to church more, you know. Awesome. And what can be done? Anything's possible. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. More housing. I mean, more. Some of these buildings that are boarded up need to come down. The boards need to come down and house these people that are laying on these streets under plastic. I mean, you know, when you're out here, people don't understand. You starve. You go to bed hungry. I mean, your stomach is just gnawing at you, and people don't see it. Even though I'm homeless, I still give you know, to help the other people on the streets because I don't, sometimes they don't want to say I have a need, you know, and they're afraid. So what are your hopes? My hopes, uh, the war will end, uh, the war will end, and the soldiers will come back to something, have something. Okay. Let's talk about your, your son. I mean, Larry. Does he have a, if he had a chance to see this, what would you say to him? Oh, son, you just missed a, ter uh, uh, a big event. It's been a blessed day. And uh, I wish you were here. And I love you and I miss you very much. And my children are my strength and I miss my daughter too. They're my strength and my hope. And that's why I carry on for them. And hopefully, you know, it's gonna be good for all of us, you know. It's not always an easy road. No, it isn't. It's, it's been, he doesn't even know that I've slept on the streets on concrete and he would be so upset he would get here now and I'm asking him to come over you know to help me because I am handicapped and I need my check that I've been waiting for because I worked all these years and you know I need to, a room or something you know a house or something I'm on a housing list and that's all I can do is try.